Hey guys, Cal here. So a lot of rookie teams have problems setting up a router for use with the Samantha module so you can control your robot like it would be controlled in an actual tournament. That's why I'm here to guide you through the process. So what I'm going to be using is a Linksys E1200 router. This is the one recommended by First and it's the best one in my opinion. So what you want to do first is plug in your Ethernet cable to port 1 on the router. Make sure it does not go into the port labeled Internet. Then, once you're done with that, head on over to the computer and set up your router there. Meet you there. Alright, so now that we're on a web browser, go ahead and type 192.168.1.1 into the web address at the top of the web browser and that should get you to your default IP address for the router and it should come up with this setup page. Now, if they ask you for a username and password, just type admin as a username and admin as a password as those are the defaults that Linksys uses. Now, the first thing you want to do before anything is go over to the administration tab and change your password. So, I'm going to do that right now and make sure to use a pretty secure password so nobody comes onto your network and changes your settings. Alright, so once that's done, make sure to disable access via wireless because you don't want people accessing your router from wireless. You only want yourself who has a cord connected to it. Then click save settings and uh, it will prompt you for username and password again. Just type in your username and password that you used and settings are successful. Alright, now next thing you want to do is go over to the setup tab and change the internet connection to a automatic connection configure automatic configuration DHCP which mine is already at but yours may not be so make sure that's set to that and change the IP address to 192.168.2.1 and starting IP address and maximum number of users make sure those are both at a hundred and then make sure the time zone is whatever time zone you need. so I am at Eastern time all right save settings all right now what you want to do is you want to go over to command prompt and type in IP config and then slash release that should work and then you type in IP config slash renew And then if you scroll up, you should see that the IP address is now 196.2.168.2.1, which is what you set it at. So then we'll go back over to the web. All right, so now once you're back in the website, which is now 192.168.2.1, remember that, and you typed in your pass admin account name and password, uh, go over to the wireless tab, and then click manual. Make sure it's not Wi-Fi protected setup. All right, so for network mode, you want to do wireless B only. For the network name, you want to type FTC underscore field. For the channel, you want to type, you want to find a channel that's least used. Now, I'm going to use five, but you can use five as well, and that should work for for almost everyone, ex unless you're in a very Wi-Fi congested area where you may want to use a Wi-Fi sniffer to find the least used channel. Alright, so then once we're done, we can save the settings, click continue, go over to the wireless security tab, and click security mode, and use WPA2 personal, and then type in a password for your, for your network. But you want to use something that will not, that nobody else will know, or else people can share, can find out your network and, and go onto it when you don't want them being on it. So once we're done with that, click save settings. Then we're done, and all we have to do next is just uh, create a flash drive to flash our robot. So we'll do that next. All right. So once we're in the Samantha network configuration, which you can download from the first website, uh, we want to change the secondary network name to whatever you named your network. I use FTC underscore field. Uh, make sure to change your authentication to WPA2 PSK, uh, and then. For your network key, you can just type in whatever you type in your password. I use password as an example, but you want to use something more secure. And 
then you should be good. So then, all right, then click save, and it should, if you click OK, it should save it to a flash drive. I don't have anything plugged in, but for you, it'll save it to your flash drive, and then you'll be ready to flash your robot with the configuration. So by now you should have your Samantha module set up so you can run your robot like it would be run in an actual tournament. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.